Here it is. That's what my daddy built that. I did. Hey, I just got here at my local farm store. Today I wanted to check out a feeder. We just got some sheep and whether it's gonna be more cost effective to buy one or to build one, stay tuned. All right, so as you can see behind me, we just found a small one here and that's, that's really the only size that I would need. And it's only a hundred bucks, that's really not that bad. But I'm pretty sure I could build one for less than 20 bucks. Let's go back to the shop. All right, so that went really easy, especially cutting them apart right at that seam. That was a perfect straight line for us, and the two halves match up perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, get some bolts done, done at our local parts store, and we're going to probably drill three or four holes here, just bolting this together. Now I thought about cutting this out in between having one trough, um, but I, I do think it would be okay to have the two separate troughs. That way, you know, maybe I could put a little hay over here and uh, any kind of other supplement or grain or whatever you need to put on this side and I think it'll work out excellent but right now let's run down to uh, Orsland's and get some bolts. And we're back. Alright, we got the bolts. Let's get these holes drilled and start putting it together. All right, so I got the barrel bolted together. That worked out really good. Now it's time to build the frame. I was originally gonna use like one inch square tubing, um, something that's uh, like a 16th of inch of a wall, something really thin gauged. And I could have bought like a 24 foot stick somewhere for around $25. And uh, I had a bunch of uh, what's called brake angle or, or uh, brake channel. And so I have a ton of this metal laying around. It was all free and which it's going to bring the price of this thing down even cheaper and that's what we're going for here but i would say uh, if you're going to use one inch square tubing um, you could look at uh, you could probably get away with you know twenty dollars worth in this feeder
Only thing I've got left to do is uh, I'm probably going to drill a couple of drain holes. Daddy built that. I did. I will see you on the next video. Of course, and take a your video and phone it up. All right, guys, that was super simple build. Looks like the sheep are loving it. Only one thing that I do a little different. I wouldn't make it quite as tall, and uh, I made those legs 18 inches tall instead of 12 inches tall. That's what, if I was to do it again, that's. That's how I'd make it because these sheep are just about a year old, so they're not quite fully grown yet, and they're not really struggling to get in in the feeding in it. But I can tell that it's a little too tall for them. So, you know, take six inches off of that, and I think I think they would really enjoy it. Hey, we really appreciate you watching. If you guys decide to build one of these, let me know in the comments section below how it turns out or maybe what you would do a little different to make it even better. So until next time, we'll see you on the next video. But they match. They do match. Yeah, yeah those are buff Orpington. Yeah, they're the same, look. They match. They do match. What? Mommy, where did the other one do that one? I don't know. Maybe we lost it. No, she's over there somewhere. Thank you.